Join me on this blustery fall day as we talk about the Canon PowerShot SX30IS, the new super zoom fixed lens king in the digital camera world. And if you thought the Fujifilm FinePix HS10 was the ultimate stalker cam with its 30x optical zoom, well, the Canon PowerShot SX30IS is the new stalker king. The SX30IS is also the most transformed power shot this fall. In addition to its much larger 35x optical zoom, it has a larger LCD, more megapixels, a new self timer mode, rechargeable lithium ion battery in place of AA batteries, a revamped body design, HDMI port, and new scene modes. This year, Canon did away with the ugly two tone scheme found on the SX20IS and SX10IS and went for a stealthy all black design. Also the architecture of this camera is a little revamped and the hot shoe features a rubberized cover. It has a flip up flash, large chunky mode dial, shortcut button in the back, a spinning control wheel for making adjustments and we like what they've done with the focus options this year. Canon has migrated the manual focus and the macro into one selection, freeing up space for the exposure compensation on top of the uh, four-way directional pad. The SX30IS also retains the flip-out rotating LCD, only this year it's pumped up from a 2.5 inch to a 2.7 inch. So there's a little more real estate there. Canon also went to an electronic viewfinder that displays all the image information you find on the LCD on the electronic viewfinder. And the best part of this is we have a nice, large, chunky lithium ion rechargeable battery. And the SX30IS, like the rest of Canon's new PowerShot lineup, runs on SD and SDHC cards, but it also supports SDXC cards. And when compared to the Panasonic FC40, the Canon PowerShot SX30 is a bit bigger and slightly heavier, more bulky. The FC40 does not have a flip-out foldable LCD, but it does have a very handy control dial that can be pressed and used as a button, which we really liked. So depending on your preference, if you like the control wheel and back or the control dial, it's a little more advanced, that's up to you. Now for shooting features on the SX30IS, the most important thing is image stabilization, obviously, because you're going to be zooming in at a 35x optical magnification. You need a system that can handle it. This camera has ultrasonic image stabilization. For the most part, the image stabilization really did the job, but you really have to have a steady hand. Check out our image samples and videos because we do a lot of full zoom, full telephoto shooting. The SX30 also has a manual focus, but with a 230,000 pixel display, using the manual focus was like trying to discern sharp lines in a Super Mario Brothers. So we didn't even bother, but it does have a decent amount of AF autofocus modes. It has flexi zone, which allows you to move the frame anywhere in the screen. The SX30 IS also has a pretty decent manual mode, a shutter speed that goes down to 15 seconds, aperture range of F 2.7 to F 8.0. It's about average and an ISO range of 80 to 1600, which is expanded in low light mode at 3200 but it shrinks the resolution of the image. The SX30IS gets new scene modes, it gets the new super vivid and poster mode. Of course we have miniature, fisheye, color accent, color swap, the classics. There are Canon's color modes and we also get the new self timer mode which is excellent. We get to set time up to 30 seconds and we can set a consecutive number of shots up to 10 shots. Now compared to the Panasonic FC40, the Canon SX30IS doesn't have as many features, as many shooting no modes. Um, the FC40 goes down to a 60 second shutter and it has a lot more features in video mode. The SX30IS is a bit more basic, a little more beginner oriented. Now the Canon PowerShot SX30IS has a basic 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, but it has a 14.1 megapixel count. 
which is a boost from last year's 12 megapixel count. Now when you take so many pixels and cram them into a small sensor, you get a basic imaging performance. Luckily, the Canon PowerShot SX30IS gave us an impressive image performance that we did notice more noise in low light, less fine detail, some purple fringing along highly contrasted edges, which are typical symptoms of a basic imaging sensor. We can tell you that the Canon PowerShot SX30IS gave a better still image performance than the Panasonic FC40. In video mode, the tables turned. The FC40 has AVC HD light, uh, HD video recording, both record 720p, and the SX30IS just has plain old H.264.MOV video recording. The Lumix FC40 also has a better manual control suite in video mode. So, still images, SX30IS. Video, FC40. Now for our final answer. The Canon PowerShot SX30IS is a definite improvement over last year's SX20IS. It's the most revamped PowerShot model this fall, and that 35x optical zoom is just monstrous. We definitely recommend the SX30IS over last year's SX20IS, but now we know what you're saying, Mike, which camera should I get, the FC40 or the SX30IS? If your prime concern is video, get the FC40. If you're not as concerned with video, you want more of an all-around package, big zoom, good image quality, go for the SX30IS. If you still can't make up your mind, go to the store, try them both out, get a feel for them. But we gave the slight edge to the Canon PowerShot SX30IS because of its all-around versatility. Thanks for tuning in on this blustery day with me. I'm Mike Perlman for InfosyncWorld.com. Go to our site, check the full review out.